What's going on you guys? Theo here with The Big Review, back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video, and today we are going to be covering a topic that many people have asked me for in the past, and that is going to be how many rubies and where you can grind rubies on a weekly basis in King of Fighters All-Star. So before we get into it, make sure you check out yesterday's video, link will be in the description if you missed it. We do currently have another sweepstakes going on for subs, so if you guys have not seen that, check it out. It's going to be good for another 25 dollar either Google Play or iOS gift card so all the details on how you can get a chance to win that gift card will be in that video so before we get into how you get these rubies I want to preface this with a few things so there are going to be a few things that I'm not going to cover in this video because this video is specifically for weekly rubies that you can grind every single week that don't expire, that you can't just claim once and then they're gone, so on and so forth. So that means that I'm not going to be covering things like story mode, any of the other modes whenever you clear them for the first time, the immortal dungeons, affinity items, and so on and so forth. Reason being is those things, once you have claimed them, tend to be gone for good. And I want to make this more of a living guide for people that down the road, if they are just logging into the game for the first time, or they are someone that even is a veteran and they're wondering what the numbers are on some of these modes that they should be shooting for as far as a ruby grind is concerned, that this will still be valid for them. So all those other things I feel like are a foregone conclusion. Most people should pretty much understand and realize that those things are going to be available to them, meaning the things that you get from clearing these modes for the first time. So those I'm going to be avoiding in this video, and we're strictly going to go with what you can grind on a weekly basis. So all that being said, and all the kind of disclaimers out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So the first place that you are going to want to go is you are going to want to go here to your shop. And if you go up to your recommended packages, you'll see up here in the corner, they are going to have this ad that's available. Now this ad is going to give you 30 rubies per day. So basically what you are looking at there, if you are doing that each and every single day, then you are going to be looking at a total of 210 rubies per week. So that's 30 times seven for those of you who are not keeping track at home. So that is the first thing that I would make sure that I do every single day. You always want to make sure that you are doing this ad because that is going to just be free rubies handed to you for having to sit through a 30 second like Raid Shadow Legends video or something. So you'd have to do that on most YouTube videos you watch anyway. So might as well do it. Uh, the next thing we are going to talk about is going to be your daily missions. So for those of you who are not aware, in your daily missions here, if you clear six of your daily missions per day, which you should do easily, so as an example there, do that, and I'm up to three of the six. So basically, you scroll through here, you do these different daily missions, which should be very, very easy for any of you who just started. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Most of these should be attainable, and you will get 100 rubies per day, meaning you get 700 rubies per week total from just doing your daily missions. So that is a very nice way to get a quick 100 rubies every day, and that is going to be the next step that I go over here. So next thing we're going to talk about is going to be the team relay challenge so with the team relay challenge this is only available once a week it resets every payday and basically you're going to have these three modes here right and basically what you can do if you have not cleared these for the first time then good luck because they lag extremely horribly at this point in the lifespan of the game but you can basically go down here if you've already cleared these and auto clear this and basically what this is going to yield to you is going to be 150 rubies per each one of these modes here so basically 150 times 3 you're going to be looking at 450 rubies right there so that is a very easy way once you have cleared these for the first time to get rubies every single week and it's a nice little chunk of change so make sure you don't forget about this sitting here because I know I've talked to people in the past that have forgotten about that so the next thing is going to be a very hot topic and something most people I think know about and that's going to be time attack 
So with time attack, this one can be a bit of a pain for some people. You know, really depending on what device you're on and what you're using. So whether you're using a mobile device or you're using a tablet or you're using a PC with an emulator or whatever the case may be, you'll have better luck with this than some. I definitely recommend if you guys are having trouble on these things to check out some of the videos on YouTube for guides for these things because being that these things do rotate characters in and out there isn't a definitive guide to time attack but as long as there's a character available in the lineup that is going to be kind of useful enough to get you through it because really you want to get to SS that is going to be what your kind of goal is each and every single day basically you'll have the idea there if you do that and check those out on YouTube there's plenty of those out there but you want to make sure that you at least hit S rank every single day, if not SS. S rank tends to be pretty easy to hit, but definitely try to make sure that you are getting the SS rank every single day. And that is going to make uh, quite a bit of rubies for you each and every single week. That's going to look at around 1620 rubies, so 1,620 rubies per week just from doing time attack at SS. So basically, if you're getting the maximum scores that you can each and every single day, that's an extra 1,620 rubies, which is quite a few rubies. So definitely work on your time attack. If you have questions about time attack, there are a ton of people that have a ton of information out there on it, and it is definitely a mode that you want to prioritize, especially if you are a new player just starting out. Make sure that you don't neglect that. So those are going to be some of the other ways. Now, what are other things that you can do? So the next thing we're going to talk about is in your battle tab here. We're going to talk about League and Infinite Battle. And I'm going to start out with League. So with League, League does not give you necessarily the greatest amount of rewards each and every single week. It is going to be a lot more lackluster when in comparison to things like your Infinite Battle, which we'll talk about. But basically what you are seeing here is going to be your League match. And what you are going to want to look at is going to be your Season Rewards. And this is going to tell you kind of here what you're looking at as far as your Rubies. So when it comes to this... There's been some debate in the past from people who have talked about, you know, how, sh how should I do this? Should I use my own rubies to get myself at a higher rank? Because you do see this big, big jump here at the top. And the long and the short of it is it is not worth your rubies to spend on extra tries at this per day. It, yes, it is a big jump, but you're spending more trying to get up there than it's really worth. And honestly, most people just kind of try to live in this kind of area here. And this is kind of where you live most of the time. Typically, I'm usually going to be getting about 260 to 290 rubies per week on this because I'm usually in between 210 and 170, as you can see from the tiers here. So your mileage may vary on this one, but my recommendation to you guys is really just to shoot for kind of that average because if you can do that then that's good enough again you don't want to be dumping your rubies into extra matches in here in order to kind of increase your ruby gains in one week it's just really not worth it and i wouldn't recommend it but as long as you can live in between those tiers you're going to be pretty good so that's kind of what you're looking at there that would be my recommendation anywhere between you know say 210 and 290 rubies per week and that should be good enough so that is going to be league now next up is going to be infinite battle so when it comes to infinite battle this is actually much nicer as far as what you get with this so in here if you take a look we'll take a look at our I believe it is in tier details yeah so Basically, if you take a look here with the infinite battle, you are going to see the different rewards, and they're much nicer than what you get with League. Now, with this, typically I'm sitting around 12 to 1300 rubies per week, and you can do more. I mean, it depends on how you can perform in here, but typically you can get 12 to 1300 fairly easily without much effort, as long as you're really just making sure that you're doing all three of your matches a day and you are not losing any of them. Try to make sure, honestly, a lot of people don't realize that when you go to pick an opponent, it does not matter what opponent you pick. 
because it doesn't matter if it's the top one or the bottom ranked one, it isn't going to yield you more points. Basically all you need to do is make sure that you are taking as little damage as possible and finishing the fight as quick as possible. Anything else does not really matter or factor in as far as that goes. So, you know, if you want to, just do it quick and easy. Just pick the easiest team you see in that lineup that doesn't make a difference in your score anyway so that is going to be infinite battle again my recommendation to you guys with this is going to be you really just want to make sure that you can get yourself to the point where you are getting around i would say 12 to 1300 rubies and that is going to be a nice chunk of change on paydays so that is going to be those and that is pretty much going to be the main ways that you're going to get rubies on a daily and weekly basis. Those are going to be the things that are constantly available. Now, there are two things that I want to talk about here, though, before we finish off this guide. And right now, if you just take into account what we've already talked about, you're looking at about a total of 4,440 rubies. That's between the time attack, the daily missions, the infinite battle, the league, the team relay challenges, and the ads. So 4,440 rubies is a very nice chunk of change, but you can actually bump it up yourself if you go into the shop and spend a little bit. And usually I don't go into these as much, but I do want to talk about these a little bit because people ask me all the time how I get so many rubies. And I only buy two things a month. That is it. I buy these two packages here. You know, so if that makes me a whale to some people, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if $40 is a whale or not, but <laughs> I mean, guilty as charged if so. But basically, this package here is going to be $30, and it refreshes once a month. And basically, for $30, when you buy it, you are going to get 1,200 rubies that are paid. And then every single day that you log in, you are going to get another 100 rubies. And you're going to do that for 28 days total. So that is quite a bit of rubies. You know, this package here, if you take a look at it, is really, really valuable and really nice. And at the end of it, when you finish it off on the last day, it's actually going to give you a fest selector ticket for memory. So that's also really nice. Now, I've gotten to the point now where this is kind of secondary. I don't need a whole, whole lot of these because this isn't up to date, unfortunately. But being able to get yourself a free fest memory at the end of it is very nice, especially considering the fact that for the price that you are paying for it, just the actual rubies themselves are pretty much worth it every day. So that is a package that I do recommend if you are somebody who considers yourself a dolphin or whatever the case may be. This is going to be a package that is very valuable. Now, there is another package that is very similar to it that is much cheaper for those of you who want to kind of budget even further. This is going to be the monthly ruby chance box. And basically what this is, is it's going to give you 400 rubies when you buy it. It's going to give you 100 auto clear tickets, 1 million gold, and then every day it's going to give you another 100 rubies. So basically, you're looking at, if you really break it down, you're looking at about 2,700 rubies for the 27 days, and then the first day for the 400, you're looking at about 3,100 rubies total for 10 bucks, which for that price is a really good deal in my opinion, and that's not even considering the other things that you get when you buy it for the first day, like your auto clear tickets and your gold, which really isn't the selling point, but at the same time, that's a pretty nice deal overall. So basically for $40 a month, you can get an extra 200 rubies per day. So that extra 200 rubies per day comes in handy and is how my ruby count kind of jumps up quicker than others. So whenever you are looking at my ruby counts and you're wondering how I'm able to do that, that is why. It's because I'm getting an extra 200 a day and I am religious about making sure that I am doing these other things that we have gone over in this video. So basically to summarize, for those of you who skipped to the end, because I know there's plenty of you out there, time attack, if you do SS every single day for a week, you are looking at 1,620 rubies. For your daily missions, you are looking at 700 rubies per week. For infinite battle, you want to target about 1,200 rubies per week. 
On League, you want to target between 210 and 260 rubies per week, and it is not worth spending rubies for extra fights. Just save your rubies. For the Team Relay challenges that you can do once a week, you get 450 rubies. And then for the ad once a day, you are looking at a grand total of 210 rubies per week for a total of 4,440 rubies. And then it is up to you if you want to take advantage of some of those packages. So those are going to be the ways that you can get rubies every single day, every single week without fail. Again, we are not covering things like clearing modes for the first time, such as story mode or advent dungeons or the like. Those are things that we are not covering in this video. And then affinity items and things of that nature, we are also not going to be covering in this video because again, those are things that eventually you will not have the option of because you will have already claimed them all. So this is meant to be more of a guide for what you can do each and every single week no matter where you're at in the game. So that is going to be today's video guys. I hope you found it informative. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. I appreciate each and every single one of you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. You all have a good day. Peace. Continue.